Hey everybody, Mark Zachary, Next Step Home Loans. Hope you're doing well. I wanted to shoot a quick video on this inventory issue that we are currently experiencing in the housing uh, industry and, and what's causing it, uh, when I think it may uh, you know slow back down, and, uh, and just kind of give you my uh, opinion on, on things that I'm hearing and seeing in the market. Uh, cause I had a question about, hey, is this, uh, is this still a, a seller's market and is it going to continue even though the rates have gone up? Uh, this week and last week, it's been pretty crazy in the bond market. So I wanted to uh, address some of this inventory uh, issue uh, and just throw out my opinion on on what's um, what's going on and things like that. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Uh, but obviously, we are experiencing a high um, demand in regards to housing, and it is being um, it is setting up a a situation where people are bidding more. Then the asking price, uh, you're getting 10, 20 offers on a property within days of it hitting the market. And so we have tools that will tell you, hey, is it smart or not to, um, you know, bid more than the asking price? Uh, so if you need us to do that for you, let us know. And, and based on the historical data and the forecast of what the appreciation is going to be in the coming years, uh, it will tell you um, if it's a good idea or not. It will give you the data. You make your decision. So, But I wanted to uh, share with you my screen. I'm going to do that now and give you some uh, information on, on the shortage and what I think is part of the reason. Uh, and you don't really consider uh, taking birth rates uh, into consideration whenever you're looking at shortages on uh, housing. But if you look back in, in – um, let me back up a little bit. First time home buyers right now are 32% of the market. So of all the homes that are being uh, sold, 32% of those are first time home buyers, uh, meaning that they don't have a house that they're selling and moving up and, and, and they're, they're actually just buying their very first home. So the average first time home buyer age is 33 years of age. You can see that right here. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see it, but you'll see that the average is 33 years of age. Well, here's 1980, let's see, 1988 is this number because that's 33 years ago, right? So if you look at 89, 90, 91, 92, all the way up to 95, the birth rates are at or above what they're at right now. So the shortage of homes, if the first time home buyer age continues to be 33 years of age, you're still going to see a shortage of homes for the next uh, seven, eight years simply because of the um, number of new buyers that are coming into the market. Now, remember, the, these are first time home buyers, so they are not selling an existing home and buying a new one. Th those are called neutral inventory, neutral buyers and sellers. So they're buying a new home, yet they're selling a new uh, their old home. So it's 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 neutral. These people, 32 percent of them are brand new buyers to the market. So they are buying, but they're not bringing any, anything to the market. So you're seeing that that is part of the reason that the um, that the inventory levels are so low and challenging right now. So uh, another graph here is when COVID hit last year, uh, builders were building, putting a lot of homes on the market. But you can see right there when COVID hit and all the shutdown hit, uh, it drove their uh, production down significantly. And they have simply not been able to keep up with the demand. So you've got a lot of people that are moving out of the high density areas of downtown condos, townhomes, downtown. They're getting out to the suburbs in the rural areas, buying homes now because they do not want to, if they have to be cooped up in a house again because of another uh, pandemic or quarantine, or maybe they're now working out of their house and they don't have an extra bedroom for an office. So they are moving out to the suburbs and they are causing a, a, a big challenge in regards to the uh, uh, inventory level. So until the builders are able to uh, catch up and, and put more houses on, on the ground, we're going to continue to have this um, 
inventory shortage simply because based on this chart here, the number of buyers headed our way as first time home buyers just continues to get higher and higher. So uh, if you need any, uh, any additional information uh, on the market, how the bond market is doing, it's having a rough couple of weeks right now. We're sitting here on uh, February 24th. It's been a rough couple of weeks. Uh, we think that's going to settle back down over time. But, uh, you know, if you're if you're buying in the next 30, 45 days, you need to make sure that you're locking in your interest rates so they don't continue to go up on you. All right. I think that's uh, that's it for now. I appreciate you uh, watching it. I know it's a little bit longer than normal, but if you have any questions, always give us a call and uh, we'll be glad to uh, help you out any way we can. All right. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.